Hey, welcome to the Guaranteed Retirement Guys show. So today I want to talk to you about annuities and explain what annuities are. So what are annuities? Well, annuities are contracts. So a lot of times people think annuities are like an investment account, It's not really what they are. They're a contract for income. Maybe you have an income rider attached to the annuity. Maybe it's a contract for a particular rate of return. Like right now we have very high interest rates. And so if you're looking for a MIGA or a fixed annuity, then you might have a contract of 6%, let's say, or 5%, just depending on the term. And, and of course, there are indexes, as you know, if you're thinking about an index annuity, there are indexes that annuities have that will give you potential growth. So you never know what the index will do. A lot of times providers will come in and they'll illustrate these huge returns and they look so great. You know, they might even show 20, 30% or more in returns, which do not accurately uh, reflect the growth that you're gonna see over the next 30 years. Because what they're doing is they're showing you returns based off of an index that has a 300% participation rate in the index, which means if the index does 10%, you'll get 30%. And that's only for that one year period. And after that, it's going to be reset. And they don't tell you that a lot of times, um, but they need to. So when you have an insurance company that's got $5 billion set aside to buy options every single year, um, a lot of times the price of those options will fluctuate up and down, which of course will affect the type of return that you'll get during that period. So that's one thing to remember. So when you're putting money into an annuity, you're probably taking money out of maybe the market. Maybe you're taking it out of your brokerage account. Maybe it's taken out of your 401k or your IRA account. And now you want to place it into a contract. You know, maybe it's a it's a fixed index annuity with a contract of income because you have uh, an income rider attached to it. And so a lot of times these income riders will charge you 1% or maybe a little bit more for guaranteed income. But usually it's worth it. You might spend, I don't know, let's say $100,000 in fees over your lifetime. But in return, you might get $600,000 in guaranteed income, like an additional $600,000 of guaranteed income on top of the guaranteed income that you would get without the income rider. So it's always something to think about when you're putting something into an annuity contract. What is the purpose? Are you looking for lots of income? Or are you just looking for maybe protection against market loss and you want some growth? Um, Then in that case, you would put your money into an annuity that is just, you know, it's it's just tied to some decent indexes that give you decent growth. And it's also, of course, protected against market risk because you're not actually in the market. Um, With annuities, you're putting money with an insurance company. And that insurance company will typically invest that money into things like um, high-grade corporate bonds Uh, call options associated with a certain index. Maybe it's an S&P index. Maybe it's a NASDAQ. Um, There's so many different types of indexes out there. And what they're doing is they're spending billions of dollars every single year purchasing options associated with these indexes to give you growth and also, of course, make a profit. And that's how they're able to get the growth of an index without giving you the risk of the stock market because you're not actually in the stock market. Now, during this video, I've only talked about fixed annuities, which give you fixed rates of you know, five or 6%, which is you know, what they're paying right now. Um, and then I've talked about fixed index annuities, which give you the growth of whatever the, that index makes. And of course, if the index goes down, well, the insurance company is not, they're not gonna exercise those options. They're gonna let them expire worthless, which means you're not gonna make anything, but you won't lose anything either. So that's how annuities protect you against market risk. I've talked about those two, but I have not talked about variable annuities. Variable annuities is not uh, an annuity that I will typically spend a lot of time on because um, they have a lot of fees. They have a lot of fees, and a lot of times advisors will sell them you know, in hopes of getting a huge return turn. But a lot of times what you don't know, or maybe it's not properly explained, is um, those type of annuities come with typically a lot of fees. So not always, but a lot of times you'll see different types of fees. Maybe you have the advisor fee, you know, the guy that's actually selling it to you. You've got his fee, you've got the annuity fee, and maybe you have the mutual fund fee. And so when you have that, you could have some substantial, you know, fees like upwards up to 6%. 
So I had a guy actually reach out to me and he said, hey, I've got a $1.3 million variable annuity. They're guaranteeing me 6%. And then of course, whatever you know, whatever the mutual fund or whatever the sub accounts make, I'm going to make money. And uh, why should I choose a fixed index annuity, right? When they're giving me all these uh, guarantees, you know, your fixed index annuity doesn't give me a guarantee. It just gives me growth if the index goes up and then nothing if the market drops. Well, and I looked at his account and I looked at his statement and I uh, was going down through the fees and he didn't realize he was paying around 6.3% in fees. So even though he was given, getting that guarantee, the fees were eating all of it up and he didn't know it. So it's really, really important to know what type of annuity you're in, what kind of annuity you want, what you need it for. Do you want it for income? Do you want it for guaranteed lifetime income for you and your spouse for the rest of your life? Then you probably should look at a fixed index annuity with an income rider. Those typically will pay you the most. But if the income is not really that important to you, but you still want maybe some of your portfolio out of the market and you still want that growth and you want, you know, you don't want to miss out, then a fixed index annuity with some decent indexes with some, you know, there's some indexes where you can lock in cap rates that are higher or maybe a participation rate that is higher um, or even just work with an, insur- with an insurance company that has um, a good track record of actually um, giving you decent growth. Then in that case, we could put money into an annuity that will give you growth, give you market protection, and with some annuities will give you a high death benefit payout in relation to your account balance. You might have an account balance of a million dollars and the death benefit might be $3 million. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with annuities. It just depends on what you're looking for. And so that's what this this video is really for, is just to kind of explain you how annuities work, um, what kind of annuities you can get, and the purpose. And so you have to just think about what the purpose of your money is. If if it's for living, um, then there's annuities for that. If it's for dying, then there are annuities for that as well. So anyways, book a call. You'll notice that there is a link below this video. I'm happy to go over that, uh, you know, your particular situation, um, go over any type of annuities maybe you're looking at, or if you just want me to show you everything, um, I'm happy to do that as well. So anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.